All right, what is going on? How have you guys been? I definitely miss these sit down and talk videos because I have a lot of things to say. And sometimes music can't always get that across. So these are very important for myself and also for the viewers because you can pick up some valuable gems in the process. And if it doesn't work for you, then don't listen to it. I don't care. But yeah, I had to take like a little micro break for music, probably like two days because first of all, I also have to move. So I have to pack up everything in this house and I'm just switching locations to a better place and to some new scenery. And I also just had to take a break from music to truly analyze and observe what I am putting into the world and what I am creating. Because sometimes when you're so locked into that creative process and you're so consumed by just creation and I gotta put this out and once I'm done this let's jump to the next thing and then the next thing and let's get the artwork and let's get this sometimes when you're running down that path you can get lost in the sauce and you don't really know what you're pushing out or you can't really make fixes or make changes like you could if you just take a break and you take a breath and you step back and that's what I had to do I just took a step back and truly just analyzed everything I was doing and if I could make tweaks here and adjustments here and if this is the path I want to go down and during that time I just connected with myself because first of all you do not have all the answers but when you are connected with let's say your spirit and you listen to your intuition and your internal guidance system which is basically just all of your emotions that's how I dictate if that's the direction I want to go in if that's the place I need to be if I should fix this, if I shouldn't fix that. That's how I truly figure everything out, just based off the connection with myself. Now, let's say if I'm making a song and this feels bad and I feel some weird fucking energy inside of myself like, uh, this isn't it, that's not it, I don't like that, then clearly don't go in that direction. Just do whatever feels good and just go wherever you feel the most satisfied and you feel the greatest about yourself because that will be the best direction for you to go. If you truly trust yourself. Now, obviously, that's a relationship you got to develop with yourself, which takes a while depending on where you stand in this world and what is going on in your world and where you are at mentally. But it definitely is very beneficial. And I also just called some people to get some advice. And I just got some very valuable advice of like, I don't really like this. I don't really like that. You should do this. You should do that. Which I don't look at that as a bad thing because I'm always trying to learn. I'm always trying to grow. Like this music thing, I just jumped into it because I knew I wanted to do this. And I absolutely love doing this. So that's what you got to do. You just jump in. You immerse yourself in what you want to do. And all the answers will come over time. You just got to have the vision and the intention and the belief in yourself to actually walk the path and everything will come to you that you need if you believe and if you have a vision of what you actually want to be or what you're going to do or where you're going to be and you believe in that vision and you just keep going no matter what happens because like God said faith without works is dead which means first of all you got to believe and what you want and you got to work for what you want and if you don't have those two things it's dead it's done you won't be in that place that you want to be and also in the bible it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it will speak meaning everything you believe everything you envision is set for you at an appointed time meaning you got to survive the test and still believe that everything is for your greatest good you gotta walk the path no matter what the fuck happens or where you end up or whatever may happen. You just gotta have that seed of belief because all things are possible with faith. And if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, nothing shall be impossible for you. And the rest of it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, meaning may take a long time, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And now, obviously, that's the difference between certain individuals. Are you willing to stick that out? Are you willing to go the distance? Are you willing to keep that faith day in, day out? Are you willing to really push yourself to that limit, to that extent, to go through the trials and tribulations to become that person? Or are you just gonna see your first test and walk away and be like, fuck, this is harsh. Like, that's just life. And that's why you see only certain people at the peak or where they actually want to be because they stuck to the script. And obviously, you know, belief isn't an easy thing to just attain. It's definitely something that, like, you got to build yourself up for. You got to build your mind up for that. And you got to truly enjoy what you are doing. But that's why you will be rewarded with the fruits of your labor if you walk forward with belief because it's not an easy thing. It's not something that someone can just pick up and be like, you know what, even though I can't see it right now, 
I believe and walk forward with that energy, with that mindset. But yeah, I just went on a little tangent right there. And also, it is very important to be an individual, especially in this society, and really just stand firm in what you are and what you believe in and who you are and who you want to be. Because there will be a lot of people who will test you and try to steer you in a direction of mediocrity. Like, there will be a lot of people who will try to rip you and tear you down from your purpose and dwindle the flame inside of you. So you go to a path of just averageness. And those people could be in your family, they could be your friends, they could literally be everywhere. And that's why you gotta develop a lot of strength and a very strong mindset if you ever truly wanna chase your dreams or you truly wanna chase your vision or you truly just got bigger ideas than everybody else around you. If you're that person and you got a flame inside of yourself and you got a large mindset, boy, your ass is gonna go through some tests. And if you survive and you continuously walk through all of that unscathed, well, honestly, you're gonna be scathed and you're gonna get knocked down. But once you rise back up, you're gonna have more keys. You're gonna have more wisdom. You're gonna have more knowledge. You're gonna know how to approach those people. And you're just gonna have a greater understanding of just everything and it'll make your journey that much more easy. But yeah, if you have a big mindset or you have a big flame, I'm not saying hide yourself away, be in your little shell, be in your little cocoon. You could also just use these people as a test. Like, do I really believe this? And if I do, let me throw myself in the fire. Let me be, just be around these people and see if I can survive. And if you can't, then you're not ready. What happens when you go all the way up and you become who you want to be and you never had the practice? You never had the knockdowns and people going against you and attacking you because when you reach the peak, that may happen, but on a grand scale and all these little lessons and all these little testing grounds and all these little things will build up to that moment to where you actually have the mindset to be able to deal with all the things that will come your way. And that has happened to me on multiple occasions. I have huge ideas. I have a huge mindset. And I'm not going to lie, about 99% of the people I am surrounded by have the complete opposite. They're small-minded. They do not believe in themselves and the only thing they will offer me is you can't that's not possible be realistic or just projecting their own negative self-talk and you can believe that and let them dwindle that flame inside of you so you join with them onto the path of mediocrity or you can stand firm in what you are and you can completely shut that idea down and still walk as you are and accomplish great things that have never been done before and truly open up a new realm of possibility for everyone who is watching you or viewing you which can open so many doors because once you do something that is so grand and so big you know all those people who may have disbelieved or whatever it may be or all these people who are you know doubting themselves or doubting what they can do once they see you open up those doors and those opportunities it's like fuck this guy just did the impossible and now the next generation that comes up let's say in my family or just surrounding friends they're like well fuck if he did that what can i do you know what i mean instead of just being locked in the reality of well this is what he did this is what they did so i'm just gonna you know get what they got so i'm just gonna be what they are and i'm just gonna have what they have and there's no up from there and there's no down from there because this is what they set say it be your family say it be whoever and that's where your life will play out right there because that's where your mind's at you're like okay well they got a nice car they got a nice house and guaranteed your life will have a nice car have a nice house because that's where your mind is settled that's what you believe like we have everything we want if you truly think about it like everything i ever wanted in my entire life i have like all the useless shit i bought on amazon a fucking mini fridge like everything that accommodates me and everything that i want i have like look around in your life you actually have everything that you want and everything that you asked for you have or everything you believed you could have you have down to all the useless shit just think about it and the only reason you don't have what you want is because you don't believe in it so it's really just a mindset thing because i honestly have everything i fucking want so much useless just random shit that i have bought off the amazon time and time again because i wanted it at the time and just everything like this whole setup this computer i wanted speakers i wanted a macbook i wanted a shirt sm7b and somehow i just found the money to gather all of this shit somehow i'm just here right but yeah all i'm saying is just truthfully mindset is everything and you can be or have whatever the fuck you allow yourself to have you can be whatever you believe you are to be you can be wherever you want to fucking be like man the only reason i have gotten different results from 
everybody I have ever known. Like, say, whether it be YouTube and pulling like 400,000 views, 100,000 views, 200,000 views. It's just because I believe that was a possibility for me. And I stuck with it. I didn't have resistance to that thought or that idea. And now all of those videos are private now. And that's the reason I have like 10,800 subscribers from all the past work. And now I'm kind of like making something brand new and starting over. So I have to like bring in a whole entirely new audience, which is very exciting because it's actually going to be aligned with what I am. And like when I meet up with these people, when I see these people, we're going to be on the same wavelength and it's just going to be more satisfying than it was before. And that's why I decided to do it. And like music for me is so different from making YouTube videos. YouTube videos, it was fun, but it just wasn't for me. And obviously I'm making a YouTube video right now, but this is way different than what I was making before. And this actually just feels right. And it's something I could do 24 seven and still be inspired and still be creative and still enjoy what I'm doing. But yeah, take it for what it is. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. The only thing I feel here is just my own mind Cause it will rip through these tracks and get a co-sign And it will tear up that pussy so don't call my And don't blow my phone because I'm on now I don't need no lead to just stalls grind I need a wild bitch who keeps me energized I opened up my mind